Right, class one. Um, I decided to make a decent video of how to prepare your tobacco ready for aging. And here we go. So what we're starting from. We're starting from first you have to hang your leaves. Um, it's best to pull these off when they're yellow, going yellow, uh, because they have a lot of tanning in them, so I'm told. These I had to pull off because we were getting a frost, so I've had to, it's a case of bring it, in, bring it in or lose it. So, yeah, and you're going to leave these hanging for about three to four weeks, then after about three or four weeks you will finish up with something that looks like that it's more of a yellowy brown and the longer you leave it the darker it will go it matures um, seriously the longer you leave it I mean like as in for smoking the better it is. I've even found out over a year that it got so much better. It really did. Um, it's kind of like, okay, it's a long process, but by the end of it, what you, you you're not losing anything. You're only going to gain. So, and when I grind all this down, um, I mix it with my tobacco. So let's say 100%, 30% of that will be of this, the remainder, whatever tobacco I buy. The reason I do that is because Golden Virginia, when you buy it from the shops, it's a blend of three different types of tobacco. Offhand, I don't know what they are. Um, when I did go looking for them on eBay, I couldn't find any other tobacco seeds apart from Gone Virginia so that's why I mix this with the shop brought stuff which is gonna <laughs> save you money it will save it still save you money it's gonna go a long way so then you take it from there and you get one of those sprayers that you can buy from Wilco's uh, Gone sprayers they're just plastic bottles with a squirty head on them and take your tobacco you can take it outside and give it a good squirt to dampen it down and then what I did with this is I put it on some kitchen towel below and some kitchen towel on top and just pressed it down and took the majority of the water that was remaining out of the tobacco that's so when you roll it to store it it doesn't go moldy what next okay so this is what I found on YouTube that they were doing to store the tobacco I mean to be honest I don't know if it makes any difference as in helping it mature they say so I mean I've had some um, leaves hanging up for a year and just basically seen the same but I'll show you the process because I've had a lot of people on the videos from two years ago moaning about that the video wasn't any good <coughs> and I get that and I should have taken the video down but it said thousands and thousands of views I even left a link showing this once again um, and today I, I had somebody commenting again oh it was pointless watching the video because we couldn't see what you was doing um, so now I'm trying to do what should I say trying to make a better better video of what you do um, white background <laughs> yeah so basically what you do is you just take the stems out that's no good that's no use in ornament just throw that away and do it with the rest of your leaves and it's a lot easier when it's damp I tried it when it was dry it was impossible right. 
if you can be bothered to sit here watching me do all this I shall do it for you Doesn't, they don't have to come off in one long piece you do need at least one though one long wide wideish piece the rest if they finish it a bit ragged it makes no difference because in the end further down the line <coughs> they will be chopped up and I think this one as nice as it is I think that's going to be the one that's going to be my main base for rolling it right I'm going to shut up and do this Just don't think growing your own tobacco is going to be, oh I'll grow it and next thing I know I'm going to be smoking it. Like I say, you can't smoke this on its own. You, well you can, but it's it's not. It's, it's, it's a bit rough. I don't know if you've ever, any of you out there have ever had something called chopped tobacco. <coughs> a bit like cigarette tobacco. kind of like that. For two more of these, don't worry it's not going to be a, an hour long video. I mean I've noticed this one, this one's maturing quite well. This must have been one of the first leaves I've hung up this year. Can you see how dark it is compared to um, the rest of it? Really you should be picking these leaves when they're yellow like I say, or going yellow. You hang them on the wall, back to back, front to front, and that's so the air can circulate in between the leaves so they don't go mouldy. Here's another tip for you. And so you take this main stem out because it's something you're not going to use and Once you've rolled the tobacco up, it'd be a devil to separate afterwards. Let's see if we can do this video without any interruptions. <coughs> Another one gone. Oh, a bit there. Save all the bits. You're going to need those. Right, so that's. Then one more to go. See the other varying colour. That's because um, I've been picking the leaves in stages. You know when they're kind of like ready outside to bring them in. So some will look darker than others. It's because basically they've been hanging there longer and maturing longer. But, um, another tip as well, they say when you're blending this tobacco, when you're pulling the leaves off the plants, try to pull some from the top, the middle and below. I think they vary in um, strength. Maybe the top part of the plant gets more nutrients than the lower leaves. I don't know. But that's what they said. Yeah, oh. right. So let's pick our base leaf. That one's got a hole in it, so it's not so good. There's that, there's that. We'll choose this one. Spread it out as wide as you can because you can be putting quite a lot of tobacco together. It's going to be awkward to roll as well because it's so long. But I mean, I, what they're probably doing is they probably just cut the ends off there to make it easier to roll. But give it a go this way or that 
and evenly spread your tobacco out flat on that one. Um, get some of your smaller pieces as well because then when you put your next layer on your bigger leaf it'll hold them more in place. He says it's so fiddly. Here we go. I'm just finding some small bits. You kind of make it even across the width of it. It's going to help more when it comes to rolling it. Oh, he says. Uh, a few little bits there. There. What I'm doing what off camera is I'm just unrolling the leaves, trying to make them flatter so they're not doubled up, so they'll dry out evenly. Like that. Alright, some bigger leaves. This one is big. Okay. Put that on there. Pat it down. Uh, same again, is a thinner one, not so wide, should I say. And then a big, the last big one. So, there, okay, so we've got that for now the devil, <laughs> the devil of the job. Like I say, I, sh I should really cut those off. I don't know why. Yeah, actually, if I knew where the AI, the scissors are here, okay, so we'll do that. We'll we'll make it just a bit neater. I think that's best because it's going to be like rolling the biggest roll up in the world, and it's not going to be easy. And that these bits that are left over, not a problem. So maybe we'll take that top one off. So it's a big one or the small one in places in place okay that's better and on that end there I say you're in this for the long run I don't think oh you know oh I'll have some tobacco in you know a few weeks that isn't gonna happen. <coughs> there we go. He says again. A little bit there. Right. So now we've got all our layers. It's a bit like Blue Peter. So you go underneath, grab your first leaf, take it to the edge. He says. And work your way out. If you've ever made a roll up, then you kind of you should be okay doing this. Well, okay, that's going well. He says, "There we go." Okay, cool. That's just made me look professional. So then, what you do is, yeah, oh, there's a bit fell out from somewhere. You twist it in the middle, and then keep twisting it out. That this is the most difficult bit. very fiddly so then once you get to the end you then twist it round I don't know if you're as old as me but do you remember the coal fires when your mum used to get the old newspapers and she used to roll them up to start the uh, fire well it's the same principle right so there we are and you just take one end of it turn it in Make your little donut, hold it together. Once <coughs> say they, they say that this helps it mature better, and there it is, and that's it. That's how you prepare your tobacco. Um, 
ready to pop in your tin to mature. Now that, I'll probably leave that for another four months. <coughs> and then afterwards, all you've got to do is unravel it. Because it'll be all dried out by then. And you get your scissors. And then you just snip equally down. Snip, 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 snip. To cut your tobacco. Um, I'll not show you that now because that just won't work. And then just chop your tobacco up basically. Uh, you can put it in a coffee grinder. But you've got to be really careful when it comes to the coffee grinder. Because too many whizzes and you'll finish up with dust. As I've mentioned in the past. But that now, now that's ready, prepared, that will go into a tobacco tub with a lid slightly off so the moisture can escape. And if it finishes up too dry, that's not a problem because all you've got to do is then get a little, little bit of potato peel, pop it in the tub with the tobacco when it's all chopped up. Uh, pop the lid back on. I'm oh, sorry, give it a bit of a yeah, swell. And it'll moisten it and then it'll be ready for smoking. Well, mixing with your other tobacco and smoking. Right. There. I hope that's made a lot of people happy. The ones that weren't happy with that first video way back then. A couple of years ago. Uh, when that's dried out, I'll be back with another video and I'll show you the cutting process and it, it, again it's not rocket science okay thanks for watching <coughs> like subscribe if you want um, thumbs up would be good as I've gone to the effort <laughs> catch you later